everyone, I'm back with another video, and first I want to say thank you to Canadian Scrapper Girl, who's Kathy, for making me this awesome happy birthday video, and I woke up to all these awesome birthday wishes from everyone, and thank you so much for um, saying happy birthday and for remembering me today, because today's still my birthday, um, <laughs> but you know, it's a birthday month, it's not a birthday day, so um, thanks you guys so much, it means a lot to me, and I was really happy to see um, a lot of people say happy birthday because that's really special and you know I feel really blessed so thank you. Um, so I am done with the My Butterfly Kisses 12 um, and that's Arlene um, and her blog is butterflykissesWithLove.blogspot.com and so Arlene hosted the a June tag swap. Uh, the theme was Postcards from Paris. And um, <clears throat> the challenge was collage and vintage. So, um, <laughs> oh, and Arlene, look, I'm wearing um, awesome bling just for you. Um, so, <laughs> Arlene, I totally tried to do some crazy texture with crepe paper and Mod, Mod Podge. It's, I know it's called Mod Podge, but I really just want to say Mod Podge. Um, and it was an epic fail. It was ugly. It was like failure on all levels. It was just, it was not pretty. So um, I tried <laughs> to do some crepe paper situation and that didn't work, but I did use paint, which I don't ever use paint. I use paint for the first time. Um, so I just want to talk about my tag. Um, again, the theme was postcards from Paris. So I had this vision, right? because I have all these big ideas. I had a vision of I'm going to do an all black and white tag and I'm just going to like pump it up with all these textures and stuff. But I really just, I wanted to do a black and white tag and some champagne colors sneaked in, but I'm okay with that. But um, I just really wanted to do a black and white tag. That was just my mission. And um, so I'm going to talk about all the stuff that I did. Um, so here's the tag up close. Um, I'm really happy with it, and this is one of those tags that it's like I thought I was done like five times ago. I mean, I just kept touching it and touching it and touching it, and it just kept growing and growing and growing. So, um, so I did some painting, and I don't know if you can see it, but I dry brush. So this is white chipboard. I dry brushed it with this awesome paint. It was like I don't know, like a dollar ninety nine at um, Michaels. Um, and I wish you could see the shimmer. It's called, um, I don't know, metallic champagne or something. And it was like $2 and it's such a pretty color. Um, so I use that and I dry brushed it. So I don't know if you could see it here, but it's really like this light gold color. Um, and I really, I was really pleased the way it came out because I wanted to use a different medium this time around. Um, and so I did use the paint for the first time. And so it also gave me the opportunity to use, um, these are my favorite stamp sets um, at the moment. Um, I used a mix of this Cavallini um, Paris set, which is just adorable. Um, and then also I used this Bonjour Cavallini stamp set, which is like awesome too. I wish I could use every single stamp, but I had to, you know, a tag is only so big. And I decided to use um, a, a typical tag shape this time too, which is funny the way I came with my tag shape because um, Paper Drama, who's Joe, she had made me this tag and I really liked the dimensions of it because it looked like a skinny tag. And um, <laughs> so I was going to totally email her and be like, what are the dimensions of the tag? It didn't even occur to me, you guys to measure the tag that she gave me. I was like, I don't even know how I survive on a daily basis sometimes. So <laughs> I used those dimensions because I, I just wanted like a regular tag shape. I didn't want to go too crazy with it. But um, so I did the painting and the collage part comes with the stamping. I just stamped all these different images all over the place. Um, so there's this, um, it's so cute. It's this Eiffel Tower postage and then this um, street sign one. And I, I'm in love with this Mademoiselle. I'm in love with it. And I put it on the Tim Holtz banner. This is with the Regal Crest die. I only use this one piece. I put blings to flank it. 
thanks Nancy for reminding me I had to do that um, and um, I was really um, just struck with this Eiffel Tower image it's the it's a black and white Eiffel Tower image and I distress the edges and it's um, the Eiffel Tower through this cute bedroom it's just I love that image <clears throat> it was a little dark so I busted out for the first time my um, white stays on I didn't even know I owned that stuff but apparently I did so <laughs> I busted out the white stays on um, and then um, I have this black rose and I actually knew from the beginning I wanted to do a black rose I had actually made these and I know I'm infamous for using glimmer mist without the glimmer but I had an extra bottle of that black magic and I just poured it into a mini mister so that I wouldn't deal with the glimmer and so I made these black roses and I used that color catcher that um, Canadian scrapper girl gave me thanks Kathy um, so that really helped and I actually I didn't use the heat gun to dry them I just let them dry um, on their own because um, if I can avoid using the heat gun I will and so I also made this stick pin and um, I mean it's stuck in there because I tried to stick it in the safest way where it wouldn't fall down but um, I and then like I um, got this I Prima Rose idea from Gina who's Scrapenology hey Gina what up um, and um, I put this like beaded bead thing in here and <laughs> I didn't really have a choice with the bead because I looked at my bead collection and I'm like okay I need eight of them so that was like, the only one that I had like enough of in the right color to cover all the tags so I used um, this one it's really cute I love it it's, it was actually perfect for this so um, I made the stick pin thing and my little black rose these are the white Michaels roses um, they come in white and <clears throat> um, and I just colored it with the glimmer mist and the black magic without the glimmer um, and then um, there's this black Prima Pearl thing and then there's more like stamping and I tried to do it off to the side and stuff but um, the, the paint looks really good um, again I got that paint up my it was I don't know if it's full guard or what but it was like metallic champagne and um, when I dry brush it so I did the stamping first and then I did the dry brushing over it so the black stamping wasn't too um, too intense so it the paint is actually transparent and it's over the stamping which is so cute um, and what else um, like I said I'm in love with this Mademoiselle stamp and oh, oh and there's um, a garment pin in there with a little charm guy and um, the top I tie two bows with seam binding and I'm in love with seam binding you guys I'm in love with seam binding I have it in a couple different colors and um, I was happy that I had the right colors for this tag um, and um, so seam binding is it's just it just has a great texture I don't know if you can see that but um, and it frays really easily so I'm gonna let these like fray on their own and it's a very delicate fabric and um, I really love it and then and, like some people dye it you can get it on Etsy and it's different colors and they're all super yummy so I just really wanted to dye to to tie like two cute little bows on top and I like the way that turned out so um, like I said I wanted to do an all black and white tag but you know some champagne colors like sneaked in but that's okay because I wanted to tie in the paint with the ribbon so I mean the paint is gorgeous you just can't like um, capture it on camera and then I did a little nestabilities dye back here because I wanted to try out my nestabilities dye and I have a a poor vu stamp from my stamp set and my um, spamasubi stamp from Steph hey Steph and then scrapstress and um, so those are my um, postcards in Paris tags um, I hope you guys like it um, this was a fun one to make and here's all the other ones so I'm excited that I completed these and it was a really fun um, fun tag to make because I got to use my favorite stamp set. So that's all I got you guys. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.